Hey guys, welcome back to Meryl's Music Room. Today is Friday and we are going to be doing our STEAM activity, which is going to be a cup telephone. Make sure that you have these items available for this activity. You're going to need two disposable cups and a long piece of string. Um, if you don't have those ready, go ahead and just pause the video right now and um, get those materials ready to make this instrument. Not really an instrument, it's kind of more like a toy. Anyway, it's kind of like an instrument. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to make sure that on your two cups, and I'm going to use my big cups for our example here, you want to make sure you put, have punched a hole in the bottom of your cup. You can do this with a pair of scissors or you can do it with a um, Nail, if you are one of our younger students, please have your parents do this step for you because um, I, I, I don't want anyone getting hurt. So make sure, you, make sure you have some parental advisory, some parental help with that portion of the lesson. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take your string, and I think mine really, really long, so I'm going to grab my scissors real quick and cut this in half so I can keep it in the frame for you guys. And then you're going to take one end of your string and you're going to pop it through that little hole that you made on the top and bottom of your cup. Like that. And then you want to tie a big knot at the end of that so it doesn't pop back through your cup hole. Go ahead and pause right now if you need to do this step. Once you have your big knot, you want to just let it rest down at the bottom of the cup and then you can go to the other side of your string. Get your second cup and you're going to repeat the process. Make sure that you are poking your string in this side so the end is coming out the open end of the cup. Like that, so this is my open end, so the end is down here. And then same thing, you just want to do a nice big knot at the end. And once you have that, you can tighten this up like that. So you should have your two cups connected by the piece of string. Kind of like that. Okay. And I'm going to use my small one to be the demonstrator because it's a little bit easier to see. So the way this works is it is a two-person activity. But the way it works is that you will hold one cup and someone else will hold the other cup. And you want to make sure the string is tight. It does not work if the string is loose. So you have the string loose between you like this, you're not going to be able to hear anything. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. And one person will talk in to the cup, and the other person will listen. And then you can switch. And you can use this to talk to people in different rooms. The reason it's called a string telephone is because that's kind of how telephones used to work. Is I mean, we would talk into one end and it send vibrations through a string. So when you talk into your cup, you're actually sending a vibration through the string and it's traveling down the string to the other cup and that's how somebody else is able to hear it. Um, it's because the sound vibrations are, the sound waves are traveling through this piece of string. Now remember, you do have to have your string tight between you and the person that you were doing your cup with um, and it cannot touch anything because if it touches something on the way, uh, the, the sound vibrations may transfer out of the string and go down into whatever other whatever object is touching it. So just be aware of that. Um, you may want to try doing it in the same room, but if you get really good at it, you can try in other rooms, just depending how long your string is. So this is a really fun thing. This is one of the um, old school kind of uh, instruments, sound transfer devices that kids would make back in the day. So this is kind of a really cool thing here. Um, and this is a string telephone. Um, if you make one below, if you make one, I would love to see your guys' designs and try them out with your family. So it could be a really fun activity that you guys can do together. Um, and make make your own. Just share some pictures in the comments below, or send me an email uh, with your cup telephone. It'd be really cool. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week.